Hey everyone, I'm Lisa Murray from Creativity Lab and I've just realized, wow, there's a lot of really um, bright light on my face. That's really weird. Okay, um, <laughs> so tonight's Facebook Live, we are talking about um, routines, daily routines, because like three people have asked me about this today and I was like, wow, that's interesting because it's not something that I think about a lot. Anyway, um, I'm going to talk about it because... I have a few things to say, actually. And so the first thing about this is that when you look at the whole idea of routines, routines are habits in a lot of ways, okay? So when you have a routine, you're not necessarily making a really conscious choice about what is going to work for you and what is actually going to create greatest in your life. Oh, there's sad faces already. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that is sad, actually, if you're not really like um, being conscious about your choices and actively being present with your choices. So, you know, years and years and years ago when I first started my business and like I went to this psychic and she was really cool. She gave me a lot of good stuff. But one thing she said to me was, well, you need to have a routine. And I was just like, oh, my God, no, no, please, no. <laughs> like the whole idea for me of routines is just like, no. It's awful. Don't make me suffer. And what's really funny is that then a little while later, someone said to me, well, what if you could be um, routinely creative and creative in your routines? And that kind of made it palatable. It was one of those things where I was like, yeah, OK, I could probably live with that. And it's been really interesting, actually, going forward, because as I have sort of played and created and played and created and played and created, I've realized that it's not a daily routine that I require. What it is, is what I would call a creative rhythm, a daily rhythm. Okay. So it's not the same thing at all because a routine is something that's consistent and habitual. Whereas a rhythm is something where you go with the flow and you actually allow the world to contribute to you and allow you to actually connect with the world and allow whatever can be created to be created. So I'm really happy to take questions about this topic because I think people are like looking for a recipe. The people that wrote to me today, I felt like mm, they're looking for a recipe in some ways and I don't really have a recipe for you because, you know, I don't really do recipes and formulas. However, there is a lot of things that I can say about this because I've played with it a lot over the years. So literally, what is it that you would like to know about creating your day and creating your day in a way that allows you to create more that would actually create more for you? Now, that's a lot of creating, right? And literally, this is the thing. Hi to everyone who's watching. Thank you for saying hi. I like that. It's fun. Um, and it's like this thing of, you know, one of the things when we look at the whole idea of creating more, it's not necessarily doing more, okay? It's creating more. And that can look really different. Like some of my most um, productive days are actually the ones where I'm not physically working on my ideas and my projects. But I'm allowing ideas to come and I'm allowing different energies to come and I'm allowing inspiration to come. And when all of that comes and it kind of mushes together a bit, then you have this thing where you can create and you can create very, very quickly. And that's one of the ways that a lot of people say, how come you're so fast? How can you be so fast? And it's literally one of the ways I do it. It's by allowing a different space with my creating where by not making myself have to do something at a certain time on a certain day, then there's a space there that's available for what's possible. You know, and like today, for example, I was not really um, very excited about anything today. I think that's fair to say. Probably the thing I've been most excited about all day, actually, there's been two things. One is doing the Facebook Live because I always have so much fun with them. And the other one was I actually sent out a survey to all the people on my um, Love Notes mailing list asking them just about how they find Creativity Lab and what's cool for them and what's not and that sort of stuff. And people have written back some really beautiful things. So that's been really awesome, actually. It's really made my day. But I've got to say the rest of the day had this really weird energy to it. 
And so if I had a daily routine and I was trying to go, okay, so it's Tuesday. So what if Tuesday was like, ah, uh, you know, marketing day? Now, like I've barely written a thing on Facebook today because I didn't feel like talking to people except for now. And, and, and really what instigated this live stream was that the topic engaged me. Okay. And so what if you're willing to look at what would engage you, what would enthrall you, what would invite you to something more than what you've got available in that moment. And this is the thing of having a creative rhythm. If you look for well, what's going to give you more. Now, someone asked me just a second ago, what's the difference between creating more and doing more? Yeah, it's a really cool question. So the difference, the difference is, so when you're doing more, you can often be doing a lot of what I call busy work. And this is what happens sometimes with daily routines, okay? Because if you've got a routine that on Mondays you do this and on Tuesdays and Wednesdays you do this and on Thursdays you do something else and, you know, or you've got it set by time of day, then you're not leaving any kind of opening for that kind of what I would call serendipitous creation where things come to you and you go, ah, oh, that, that's the thing I've been looking for. And you instantly put everything into place that needs to happen. Because if you're in a very habitual kind of routine, then you're going to be doing more because you're going to kind of be taking the long way to do things. Um, because often you won't feel like doing marketing on Tuesday, but if it's marketing Tuesday and that's your routine, that's what you're going to do. And so it's going to take you way longer than if you just go, okay, I'm not feeling it for today for marketing. There's no marketing to do, no conversations to have. I'm just going to chill out. Like only maybe in the last half an hour have I actually started connecting with people because I was just like, no, I'm not really in the mood today, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. And this is the difference, I think, too, between a routine and a rhythm. In a routine, if you don't follow the routine and you don't do whatever it is you've decided you have to do, you have to make yourself wrong. Whereas if it's a rhythm, it's just like, well, what's going to work for me now, you know? And I've been doing bits and pieces today, but in an oddly disjointed kind of way. And I haven't made myself wrong. I've just gone, wow, this is an interesting energy. I wonder what's possible with this. So I wonder what's possible with all of the different energies and ways of being that you have that if you actually allow those to be like that rather than making them wrong because you're supposed to be doing something else because you know that thing of you're supposed to or you should or you must or you have to it's really pretty sucky basically <laughs> and um, that's a technical term for it okay and it's like what if you just went no I'm just going to actually go with the rhythm of what's available you know and I went and did odd things like I've been out three times and picked up my contact lenses today and and literally, it's like, okay, well, that was kind of one of those days, you know, where on the surface, it didn't look like I created a lot. But actually, what I can sense underneath it is something is building, something is, um, there's a word for it, I can't find the word right now. But it's like this energy of things are coming together underneath the surface and quite deep underneath the surface. And it's not to the surface far enough yet for me to actually do something with it and that's why my world feels probably a little bit clunky and so what if that's not wrong what if that's just like oh I'm having one of those weird days and what can I be and do with that you know because when you have that kind of point of view with it then anything can become possible and I've actually done some fun things today and I've done some cool things and it hasn't all been bad at all and I'm aware that it's just sometimes you have to go through these kinds of phases to get to where you're actually going, okay? So um, for everyone who's just joined, you're really welcome to um, add questions, all that kind of thing. Um, yeah, because I'm just talking about daily routines or, or creative rhythms as I prefer to look at them as and because they're a different thing. So let's talk about creative rhythms a bit more. And it's funny, you know, for months and months, I've been going to write a blog post about this because I wrote a little bit about it in my Stop Waiting, Start Creating book. And I was like, yeah, I need to write a blog post about it. And I just haven't. So maybe I'll get someone to turn this into a blog post or something. I don't know. That could be a good thing. But what's really interesting is when you look at the thing of a creative rhythm, for a start, creative is anytime, anywhere, anyway, okay? Creative is, what can I be into different? Creative is, oh, I wonder what that could be like. It's curiosity, it's wonder, it's, you know, magic, it's play. 
So if you include that in every day, that's going to create a really different energy to, oh my gosh, I've got to follow my plan, okay? And, you know, for those of you who know me well, you'll know I'm a quite the unplanner. Now, I have been planning this week, like I've been doing some business planning and creating quite a few different things and ideas and looking at how these things might come to fruition and all sorts of things. But my business planning is not, I'm going to write it all out in detail and then I'm going to stick to my plan because I would rather die, okay? It's just not, I'm just not that person. I'm just not that person. My planning is much more, wow, this will be interesting and that could be interesting. And wow, I wonder what if I put those two things together, how could that work? Like it's a much more sense of curiosity. So I wonder what you could be curious about each day that would allow you to start to invite a more of a creative rhythm rather than trying to do what you should which actually isn't really a choice because when you do what you should, it's like, oh yeah, all that stuff. Now, in some sense today, like I was looking at, okay, I need to do my website. So I was kind of playing with that, you know, haphazardly in between other things. And I got a little bit of progress on it. So I was actually just happy and grateful for that. And that's the thing is if I decided that I had to do it all today and that was the only thing I was going to do, it would have made my day really miserable. Whereas I was like, okay, I'll just do a bit on that, then I'll do something else, then I'll do a bit on that, then I'll do something else. And that allows for that creative rhythm to actually become a rhythm and a flow rather than just being this thing that's sticking you because you haven't done what you thought you were going to do. So have you guys got questions? Because if you have, cool, let's talk about them. Um, And probably one thing I am going to say is if there's any so there is a couple of things that I do do consistently okay so I will talk about these things because that might be useful too um one thing is I always ask questions every single day I'm asking questions and the questions are not questions to get an answer the questions are literally to open up the doors and the energies to possibilities to, to look at if there's a different choice available that I have not seen before Um, so the questions are things like, okay, so what would it be like if I did this and this, or what else is possible here that I haven't even really thought of? And you know, like today with my website, like, cause I was having a bit of trouble writing today and it's funny cause that's not the thing that happens very often for me. And so I was like, okay, so what's going on here? And I asked a couple of people, a couple of questions quite early this morning and I was like, Hmm. And then in my email, came a um, question from a guy called Paul Jarvis, a questionnaire. And I thought, oh, that's what I need to do today. I need to send out a questionnaire to my email list, to the people who get love notes, to see what they know about this. And so I did. And probably, I don't know, I haven't counted, but maybe 20 people have responded to me today. And that's been such a gift because that one choice quite early this morning has created a whole lot of fuel for the rest of the day. And so when you ask a question, and like literally I was just in a very general sense saying to the universe, okay, I'm kind of in a weird place that's a bit stuck here. So what do you got? What can you send me? And next thing this guy's email turns up and it was like, oh, of course, that's exactly what I should do that will actually allow this to get created, you know? So what if you would receive your inspiration from everywhere in the universe? Like literally everything can be a contribution to you. And that is definitely part of my daily routine is to include everything that possibly can be a contribution. Because if something can be a contribution, then I get to create things faster, basically. And um, yeah, so a lot of my daily routine, or my daily routine, see now I'm calling it a daily routine, that's wrong, isn't it? Stop putting that in my head, someone. Um, Literally a lot of my creative rhythm is about finding those things that can be a contribution that will allow things to get created faster. So um, yeah, Um, what else do I do every day? I play, okay? So that's one thing that's pretty much clear in my world is that I play. Because for me, play allows me to lose my brain. It actually allows my brain to go away so that I can actually have the awareness of what is going to work, what is going to create more, what is going to be interesting and fun for me, you know? So always, every single day, there's some playtime. And it's quite a lot of different things. And what I'd say to you is if you're like, but what's the value of play? Why why would you play? Isn't that a waste of time? No, 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 no. It's not a waste of time. 
And in fact, if I don't play, what shows up, or actually it's more like what doesn't show up, okay? So when on the days that I don't play, because there are days when I'm really freaking busy and play just doesn't kind of enter into it. And those days, I always feel tired at the end of the day and I always feel like, oh, I got there, but oh, you know? And the days where I include some play, it feels like everything is quite effortless. There's just this flow to it and this magic to it. And and it doesn't really matter how I play. I've got like, I don't know, probably 50 or 100 ways I play. I don't even know how many there are now. But it's like this thing of as long as I play, in, inviting that energy creates a space that then allows the creativity to show up and allows the, the flow and the rhythm to show up that then actually means that stuff just instantly gets created. And when I say instantly, some projects take longer, like, you know, creating a whole new website for Creativity Lab, it's a big job because I've got a lot of stuff and I'm not expecting to do it in one or two days. But what I'm finding is that it's like big chunks come off it very quickly when I'm willing to allow that that creative rhythm to be there. And that's the other thing, probably that's the third thing actually, is I rarely work on the same project all day, okay? Like usually in any given day, I'd say I would work on between five and seven different things um, because that's actually what keeps everything rolling and that's also what keeps um, keeps the, the freshness in everything and it actually allows the flow as well. Because if you're bored after 10 minutes, making yourself suffer for another five or six hours, that's just crazy, you know. And this is what we're taught at work is, oh, you have to just suffer through it. If you're not enjoying yourself, you have to suffer through it. No, no, no. What if you could just move between all the different things and allow each one of those to contribute what it can? Because the other thing I notice a lot is that when I'm in this creative rhythm, that many of my um, projects actually contribute to each other, even if on the surface they don't look like they even connect. So there you go. So that's a few things to play with. Um, I hope that's helpful. And if you've got any questions, throw them in now or we are going to finish. Because some people have asked for me to do shorter ones of these. So I'm going to maybe meet that request tonight. Unless there's something that's a burning question that anyone has got. Because I'm totally happy to respond if you do. And if not, um, I'd say just invite. Just ask for the energy of what is my creative rhythms? What can I be and do different that will allow my creative rhythms to show up? You can literally ask the universe to show me how it works for you. Because each of us is different. Okay, Just because I do it one way doesn't mean it's the way to do it. It's like, what's your way? And, you know, if you've got some idea of that, then just, like, let me know. Or, or let me know. Well, when I say let me know, it would be a fun thing. Actually, maybe um, in the Creativity Lab Facebook group next week, because each week I've been putting in a different daily challenge. Um, and so next week, I think we're going to talk about creative rhythms, actually. And so maybe that's a place if you want to come and sort of have the adventure of that, I'll come up with a really fun exercise for the week. And um, yeah, you can post about what you've discovered for you. That would be really cool because we all get ideas from each other, you know, like I'm not saying that I don't get ideas from different things, but it's literally um, a, it's a space of creation that if we all contribute to it, then everyone gets to receive more and have more and be more. So it's fun. All right, Hannah just asked, can you create just by being? Yes, you can. And what I'm going to say to you is you create much more if you are willing. So the thing is, when you say being, it depends what you mean by being, actually. Because a lot of people think being is doing nothing. <laughs> yes, and thank you. I love watching the hearts and the thumbs float across the screen, too. It's fun, hey? Yeah. So going back to being, so when Hannah has said, can you create just by being, it depends what you define as being, because a lot of people define being as doing nothing, and it's not that at all. Being, oh wow, how, well, that's a big topic, okay? So, but what I'm just going to say for the short version is that being literally is, yes, it is being is the energy of what you desire. So yes, you can, that's totally possible, and 
when you take what I call inspired action, which is not the same as doing, 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 nonstop, doing, doing, doing. But when you take that inspired action that comes from being, that's like, oh, you have this thing, you know, that's the thing you need to do right now, then you will create faster. Now, if you only want to be the energy of what you desire and wait for everything to come to you, by all means do that. It just may not come as fast as you would like. But if you're willing to actually take the inspiration that comes from being that energy, because what if you be that energy and you're so aware that you need to do something, but if you don't do it, it's not going to come, right? Because you've actually been given the information, you've got the hint, and then you're going, no, no, I'm just going to do it by being. And it's like, yeah, well, you can, but you might wait for a long time. So it's really a choice as to how patient you are <laughs> and um, whether you would like to... Uh, have whatever you're asking for faster basically so that's my sense of it anyway Alrighty, I'm going to say thank you very much for coming to play tonight because I did want to do this one a bit shorter because I know that sometimes they go on for a long time because there's lots of questions and some people actually don't have you know all the time in the world so I would say have a really beautiful day evening adventure wherever you are and <laughs> Marianne, so binge watching Game of Thrones counts as being, doesn't it? Absolutely, there's dragons in there. If there is dragons in there, it's all about being. That's what I've got to say about that. So <laughs> that's really beautiful. Yeah, so I would say binge watching Game of Thrones, it totally is being actually, because what you're doing is you're looking at a whole lot of different energies and you're asking, well, which one of these could be fun for me? So, um, or I'd do that, but I wouldn't do that. So it's actually giving you a whole lot of awareness. So I'd say it definitely counts. And even if it doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're happy, you know? So, um, yeah, I'm going to say have a really good night and, or day, evening. I always, um, <laughs> Mary Anson knew I loved you for a reason. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And, um, what I'm going to say is just have an adventure with, you know, looking at, well, what are your creative rhythms? Because you might find that there's going to be something really different available to you than what you've ever had before. And I didn't know this when I first um, quit my job. Like I was just so doing, 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 doing. And really, it's not the way to create. Um, and it's taken me a long time to come out of it. I've got to also say that. So don't feel bad if, you know, on the first day you don't get it perfect because it took me about, you know, seven and a half and three quarters years. So what if you could just enjoy the process, enjoy the adventure of finding your creative rhythms and allowing them to contribute to you and seeing what space is available if you don't have every moment sort of dictated by what you should be doing. All right. See you later. And I love you all too, for all the people who wrote love you. Thank you. <laughs>